Hello, so today I will be going over how to generate a travel balance and age reports in Business Central. This is part of our GP to D365 Business Central series where we show um, how to do uh, process that, processes that you're used to in GP and how to do them in Business Central. So I'll just go into my demo of an environment right now. So this is your typical landing page for Business Central, your home page. If the best way to navigate Business Central would be the search functionality here. So if you wanted to run a trial balance, all you have to do is type it in. And then you'll see trial balance and detailed trial balance. And you're trying to go into this report analysis section. So first I'll show you how to run a trial balance. So this is typically the equivalent to a summary trial balance in, in GP terminology. So it will, depending on your settings, it will remember, um, it will default to the last report selections and parameters that you chose the last time you ran this report, this trial balance. So the options here are first is the comparison option. You can uh, compare it to last year or to budget. And then the next section, these sections here, is the col columns that you want to include. So I've chosen actual balance, comparison balances, variance and balances, and percent variances and balances. Rounding, I chose to thousands. You can do to pennies or dollars. And then I chose this option, which is skip accounts with all zero amounts. So it specifies if you want the report to be generated with all of the accounts, including those with zero amounts. So I've chosen to skip that. Okay, and then the bottom section is how you would filter your report. Similar to GP, this is where you would filter um, specific GL accounts that you want to include. Um, I'll leave it blank for now since I just want to uh, generate for all GL accounts. You can also do additional filters here uh, depending on, there's numerous uh, ways to filter your data here. And then the next section is a date filter. So I've just done a, done a date filter here. So actually, I'll just type it out how I typed it out. So 2020 0101 up to, which is dot dot 2020 0331. Okay, and then you can send this to PDF, Excel, Word. But for now, I'll just do a preview so that we can see what the report looks like. I'll just do a zoom here. So now you can see the, gen the report that generates. So as of March 31st, 2020 and 2019. Uh, 2019 because we chose to include last year balances here. Okay. So the more commonly um, run trial balance is that you probably run is the detailed trial balance. So similar, you just search it and then it's the second one here. So if you go to the top, again, it will default to the last time I ran this report, all the selections. Um, most of the time, or if not all the time, you'll have two, two items that are checked off. So new page per GL account. So this, uh, to explain this in Excel terms, it, if you had generated this to Excel, it will um, have each GL account in its own separate tab. Instead of having all, all GL accounts in one sheet, it'll be on separate tabs. And then I also did exclude GL accounts that have a balance only. So I just wanted to include exclude um, GLs with no activity. Okay, and then in the bottom again, you can do another filter uh, of your various GL accounts and your date filter. So I chose to do all income statement accounts uh, with a date range of January to March 2020. Again, I'll preview this so that we see what it looks like. So now you can see the report that generates. Each GL account is summarized, its own section. If I scroll down, here's 40200, 40200, um, and various other GL accounts. So what it does is, so if this was in Excel, if this was exported to Excel, this uh, GL would have its own separate tab and all the other ones as well. And then you can see the beginning balance, all the debits and credits that went through this, this uh, date period of January to March, 
and then this is the ending balance as of March 31st. Okay. So that's how to run two uh, types of trial balances out of Business Central. The other type of report that you're probably used to running in GP is an aging report. So I'll just go over, actually it's aged. Okay, so it's again, it's in the reports and al analysis area. So I'll just go over the aged uh, payables report because receivables is the same, same type of idea. It's just uh, for receivables. So again, it'll default to the last time I ran this. So the three important fields is this, these three first ones here. So aged as of, so I chose as of March 31st. And then the aging method, this is an important field to specify. So depending on the purpose of your of running this aging report, um, if you're doing it for financial purposes or um, at the end of the year, you're probably gonna be wanting an aging method uh, as of transaction date or posting date. If it's for operational type of purposes, it's probably due date that you're gonna choose. So for this example, I'll choose transaction date. Length of, uh, of aging period, I chose of one month. And then there's other options here. Print detail is if you wanted to, to um, print all uh, a detailed aging report. So it shows all invoices, payments, all transactions related to uh, payables for that vendor. But for now, I've I, I, I turned that off. So you'll just get a summary uh, balance for each vendor. And then again, you can do a filter in the bottom section here. So if you had a specific um, vendor that you wanted to look up and run this report for, you can choose it here. You can type it. You can even type um, the name if you don't know the exact number, vendor number. Okay, I, I, I won't put a filter there. And again, you can do a filter, uh, various types of um, fields. Okay, and then I'll just run a preview here to see what the report looks like. I'll zoom in. So this is a, a, a summary, like an aged, uh, aging report. So again, it won't show uh, the specific transaction amounts. It'll just show a summary uh, per vendor. And you can see all the buckets here. And then this is the summary amount um, for that vendor. And then in the bottom, it'll show a total for all vendors here. Okay, so that's how to run a trial balance and aging report out of Business Central. Thank you.